Hi there, friends. How's it going? Today is March 1st. So today is the day that we are giving away $200. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I figured out the entries. Basically, I started out by going to all the comments here and I went one by one and I added every person that has ever commented on my channel to a spreadsheet right here. And then I went through, so there's 87 people, technically 88 now because of this most recent comment that I didn't put on there. But this guy's not subscribed, so he's not technically entering into the giveaway. So uh, what I did is after I looked at every comment and I put down the name of every person that commented, I went through and I looked at all my subscribers and I found all of the people that had subscribed and also commented and the number of entries that we have are 18. So out of you 18 people, I'm going to, and let's just, I guess I'll name them real quick. So there's uh, Gag Playlist, which I think is Gordon. I mean, I've got the links here for all of you guys uh, for your channels and everything. And so, I mean, you can see it all on here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll this uh, dice right here. I haven't rolled it. I'm only going to do it one time. So uh, let me see so you guys can see my face. I'm right here. And so, uh, here we go. I think I just pressed start. I've never done this before, so. Oh, I have to press stop. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, here we go. 15. Okay, so number 15 is the winner, and that is PSP Fantami. Can I look at your channel? I think I know who this is. There you go. You have just won $200. So I would like to uh, be able to communicate with you. We can figure it out. Uh, I'll send you a message. I'll reply to one of your comments and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, as far as that goes, I'll just update you guys. Uh, you know, Miss Fantami's the winner. And I'll update you guys on what I've been up to this past week. Because I know I told you guys that I had an appointment on Friday with somebody's electrical system that needed help. I went ahead and helped them out with that. It was a really simple problem that he had. It was just a ground fault current interrupt trip that got tripped outside of his house. Messed up two outlets inside of his house. And so um, that's basically what happened. And I just went ahead and touch, literally just pushed the button. I, I showed him like, hey, this is all you have to do to fix your problem. It was a really simple fix. But as far as the gateway experience goes, I've been practicing the five questions tape and also the first stage separation tape. And after I've since I've been doing the five questions tape the most, like I told you guys before, I ran into this guy uh, let me pull him up here on the screen since I guess I'm showing you guys my screen. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure you've heard of him if you're into like the consciousness uh, community or whatever you want to call it. And this guy's name is, uh, let me, I'll just show you guys my screen here. It's Billy Carson. So I learned a lot about uh, stuff that I had no idea about. And the main thing that I learned that I started reading recently is this right here is the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. And so because I read some of these things, I just want to share with you with you guys one of the quotes on here that I it resonated with me. And if you ha don't know who this guy is, I think you should go ahead and check him out. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump into it because... Uh, it's just something that I think it just kind of it's an answer to the question of who we are. That's part of the gateway experiences, five questions, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, what do you want to do with your life? What is the purpose for your life? And so the answer is right here. 
So that just goes to show if you ask some way, somehow, I had no idea that following this path of listening to Billy Carson and then eventually reaching the Emerald Tablets, I didn't know that it was going to give me the answer to my question in a laid out way. It's almost like I'm not the only one that's asking these questions. It's almost like there's other people that have come before me. It's almost like, you know, we're all kind of going through a very similar experience, right? Like we kind of go through cycles. And so I just want to read this. It says here, uh, because he's asking basically, I'm not going to, this is like Yoda speak, right? So I don't want to make it too confusing, but uh, basically uh, he's asking like, hey, what do I want to do with my life? What is the purpose for my life? And the master's here telling him, hey, you decide, what do you want to do with your life? You know, and so he says to them, he says, uh, Oh, great master, let me be a teacher of men, leading then onward and upward until they too are lights among men, freed from the veil of the night that surrounds them, flaming with light that shall shine among men. I think that's pretty interesting. And uh, that's kind of like what I've started my channel with. And so... It's almost like everything that I've been sharing with you guys, and it just resonates right back to me. It's like, man, this guy is saying the same things that I'm saying, and I didn't even know that that's what he was saying. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I talk a lot about, uh, I, I've, I've used quotes in the past uh, for like uh, Jesus and uh, other uh, like philosophical or, you know, the, the alchemist stone, right? Alchemy comes from the Egyptian, you know, Chem is the name for Egypt. And that's where this Thoth, the Atlantean comes from. And I, I posted on there on the Discord uh, channel, like, hey, are any of you guys fans of Thoth, the Atlantean? I'm surprised you know, nobody responded to me. I just thought that since I, I mean, I'm not really that surprised just because I didn't really know anything about him. I had never read these tablets before. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, it's interesting stuff to me because alchemy, you know, turning lead into gold and raising our level of consciousness, raising our level of vibration, it has to do a lot with the gateway experience. You know, the gateway experience is fundamentally, literally what it does. It's, it's, uh, founded upon hemispheric synchronization. And so, what that means is, is synchronizing the left side of your brain with the right side of your brain, the left side of your brain being the logical and then the right side of your brain being the creative emotional. And so it's like numbers and pictures. And so when you put those two together, it's uh, you get uh, the neocortex or also the pineal gland that's right in the middle. And so, um, yeah, I just thought that was interesting because Jesus went and studied um he actually went to Egypt when in the Bible, it doesn't really show where he was. Uh, and that's where he was, you know, because he had a house there and uh, everything else. And so once he studied under them, he actually repeats a lot of the things that are said in the Emerald Tablets. You know, I, I mentioned something, I think last week or, or the week before, that there's nothing new under the sun. Now, I've heard these things, but I didn't know what the source of it all was. And I mean, here it is. The source of it all is right here. You know, the source of the Holy Trinity I mentioned because of the book that I've got, um, The Red Pyramid by uh, Rick Riordan. Uh, he's got that whole Egyptian decane series. Um, I've got I've got it up here on my bookshelf. Uh, and that's why I'm looking up like this. But anyway, I just thought that was really interesting because in the Egyptian uh, mythology or the the gods from back then, uh, you know, we've got Osiris, uh, you've got Isis, and then you've got Horus. And so translated into quote unquote religion later on, which I mean, I don't really, like I, I mentioned in another video, I'm not really a very religious person. Um, but where all this comes from is the source of it all is from this guy, Thoth, the Atlantean. And who was he? Well, he claims to be an Atlantean and he claims to have been uh, basically like uh, from another dimension or almost like from... And if you read the tablets, he goes into 
him traveling through the stars and going into space and visiting different civilizations and seeing the rise and fall of different civilizations. And so one of those things that he notices were like kind of like the pattern there, which was then copied later on by these religious figures to kind of try to get you to instead of look within yourself to be your own guide, to be your own savior, they try to provide you with this whole, they kind of obfuscate the whole idea of the Holy Trinity, which is thoughts, feelings, and actions, or, you know, um, the Father, the Holy Spirit, and then the Son, which is, you know, in turn, Jesus Christ or whatever. But the reality is when you look into it, when you do your research, when you dig into it, when you listen to the, this guy, Billy Carson, when you, you know, you pay attention to the gateway experience, you ask these questions, you put this frequency out into the universe and you say, hey, can I please have some help? Can you give me some answers to these questions that I've been asking? Well, these are the answers that I'm receiving personally. And I think it's pretty interesting because even in the Emerald Tablets, he starts talking about, uh, let me just, I just read this last night. So I thought it was really interesting. I just have to find it super quick. What I'm talking about, what I want to show you guys is it's it's on here. It's as, He's talking about astral projection. Here we go. So, then in my heart grew there a great longing to conquer the pathway that led to the stars. Year after year, I sought after wisdom, seeking new knowledge, following the way, until at last my soul in great travail broke from its bondage and bounded away. Free was I from the bondage of earthmen, free from the body I flashed through the night. Unlocked at last for me was the star space, free was I from the bondage of night. Now to the end of space sought I wisdom far beyond knowledge of finite man. Far into space my soul traveled freely into infinity's circle of light. Strange beyond knowledge were some of the planets, great and gigantic beyond dreams of men. Yet found I law in all of its beauty working through and among them as here among men flashed forth my soul through infinity's beauty far through space i flew with my thoughts rested i there on a planet of beauty strains of harmony filled all the air shapes there were moving in order great and majestic as stars in the night mounting in harmony ordered equilibrium symbols of the cosmic like unto law right so law what is that? That could be natural law, right? So what do you guys know about natural law? Well, there's somewhere on there that says that I'm just going to pull up this other quote. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but I have to share this because um, what is wrong is wrong, whether uh, anybody else is doing it uh, and what is right is right, whether or not everybody else is not doing it basically right so what does that mean that means that knowing what is right and knowing what is wrong it's not like one of those things that i mean when it comes to your own experience you can dictate whatever you want in your own life but when it comes to other people outside of yourself you have to know that there's a certain kind of law and if you align yourself with this law or truth then i mean it's funny stuff starts happening like I'm over here paying attention to this stuff and maybe I'm just tripping out because I've been focusing on this for so long and now other people are starting to focus on it. Maybe that's what's going on. But I just thought it was interesting how I pulled up on you on YouTube. This thing came up uh, and I'm just going to this is like the last thing I want to show you guys. And um, you probably heard of this guy. Uh, his name is Joe Rogan. And uh, let me just show you real quick. Um I just thought it was funny. I watched, look, you can see, I don't watch any of his videos ever, right? Like, I mean, maybe some, I, I don't even think I watched this one, right? Like, oh, actually I did. I don't know why that caught my attention, you know? Hey, you know, it is what it is. But uh, but yeah, the one that I want to mention specifically is this one with Cat Williams. If you, if you watch that, now they're talking about this stuff as well. I mean, it's a long watch. I didn't watch the whole thing and I, I don't suggest that you do necessarily watch the whole thing. I just thought it was interesting how they started talking about the same things that I was just focusing on. And I wasn't just focusing on it today or yesterday when this came out. I was literally focusing on it the day before. So I don't know. I guess we're all connected is what I'm trying to say. And um, last thing I'll show you guys is uh, I got this app that I've been using uh, to edit these videos. And uh, I just thought this was interesting. Let me just show you guys as like, uh, 
my collection. So this is this is created by AI, right? So this is Hermes Trismegistus, this one and this one. And then this is Thoth, the Atlantean. You know, so some people think he's kind of like the same person. But this is what I want to share with you guys today, other than the $200 to Miss Tammy here. Uh, and we'll, we'll go ahead and connect one way or another so I can get that to you. And if you want, we can do like some kind of... Uh, you know, when you receive it, you know, let us know that you received it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, that you received the $200. So, I think that's pretty much everything that I want to share with you guys for today. You know, I'll probably edit this uh, video a little bit. I know I didn't go too much into, like, super higher level stuff. But at the same time, I do feel like I did with the Emerald Tablets there. And I'm giving you guys the source for basically all of the Esoterica out there and I mean the source really is within yourself but if you ever find yourself in a situation like I have where I'm over here giving as much as I can well like I talked about last week with the cup or the bucket being filled well a great way to refill your bucket is by reading these tablets from the uh, you know the ancient Egyptian uh, you know the aliens are out there and there there's uh, spacecraft that are very real from the government and i mean there's free energy that's also part of the, what i wanted to make a video today is about how to pull energy from the vacuum of space but i don't really know how to explain it um I, i'll sh i said that was going to be the last thing i shared with you guys but i guess i lied because i'm just going to share with you guys one last thing and uh that's going to be on here i'm just going to pull up um dr stephen greer you guys should look at this video and uh, the way he explains it is pretty amazing and uh, i mean you know it's like the government will never really show us they'll never really help us like to actually and if you've seen in my other videos like anime powers and hidden applications you know that i kind of hinted at this on there um but anyway you know there's uh basically the free energy is out there and the one that i like the most is this one by lieutenant colonel thomas bearden rest in peace if you want to check that out for yourself, you can go ahead and check it out because he explains it really well. And he basically predicted the uh, 2008 uh, market collapse, which, I mean, he kind of went to like a whole different level. But what I'm trying to say is that there's no reason for us to be using coal, using um, these other mediums of energy uh, when we can just be pulling energy from the vacuum of space. So... Uh, one of those ways is through your thoughts and uh, another one of the gateway experience tapes that applies to this is the uh, energy food uh, tape and uh, if you have if you know if you practice that one then you know what I'm talking about and um, that way you can kind of get your own energy even without having to eat food you can just literally pull it from the vacuum space so that's what I want to share with you guys that's what I want to really kind of give to you um, today and so let me see this video is going on oh wow it's longer than i thought it's already been 20 minutes i guess i've just been rambling a bunch but anyway that's pretty much it peace